on very quickly. Uh, let's move on now to news that is coming in regarding the Union Law Minister Kiran Rijiju. I believe Rijiju has sparked a controversy late yesterday. He is, remember, the Union Law Minister. He said that judges spend half their time in deciding who to appoint as judges instead of delivering justice. He also termed the collegium system opaque. He's described the Indian selection system as the only one where judges appoint judges. These are all comments that some former judges have described as unjustified. Let's go over to my colleague Ananya Bhatnagar right now for more context. Ananya, obviously these comments, particularly coming from the union law minister himself, uh, could possibly be disgruntling for judges. If you could A, give us more context as to exactly what Rijiju said, then tell us about reactions from within the legal community. Well, he is actually speaking at Sabarmati Samvad uh, in, uh, uh, in fact, uh, on October 17 when, when these comments came in. And he has spoken not only about Indian judiciary, but also how judges are appointed. And in fact, a very, very uh, uh, important uh, point that he has raised is at this moment of time is that uh, judges are appointing judges in Indian judiciary. And that is the reason why uh, what he says is... Uh, causing a lot of delays, uh, he says that judges are uh, there to pronounce judgments and uh, half of the time they're spending their time deciding who to appoint and who not to appoint. In fact, he also goes on to comment that there is a lot of politics that happen when, when, when judges are appointed. So uh, somewhere or the other, it sparked a debate in the legal circles because remember uh, that the former judges like uh, Justice Madan Bilokur has termed all of this as uh, very unjustified. So... Uh, it is a, a colonial system that we adopt. It's a, it's a very long system. Uh, but then we have to remember that this is turning out a debate into uh, the three power functions of the democracy, the executive, the, um, the, the judiciary and the legislature. So uh, remember, the judiciary shall always be independent of, in fact, the executive or, uh, in fact, uh, also uh, so uh, uh, the, the three functions should be independent of each other, though they work together, but then they have to be uh, different uh, with each other. But then this has sparked, definitely sparked a big uh, debate and it would be debated around the legal circles because remember that the whole point of uh, a collegium system, a whole point of uh, judges appointing judges is that it has to be from the executive control and that's uh, what is very, very important because uh, the judiciary has to be transparent, the judiciary has to be uh, very, very independent of uh, the other two uh, binaries of the uh, democracy. So that's the reason why there is a collegium system existing and that's the reason why uh, there is no involvement of the government when it comes to appointment of judges. Uh, the, only the, the only involvement of the government when it comes to appointment of judges is that uh, the collegium sends their recommendation to the central government and then um, it's approved by the president. But uh, now it has definitely sparked the row because uh, the comments that have come in from the law minister of the country, Mr. Kiran Rujuju, has uh, in fact sparked the controversy in the legal circles because because his comments go on to say that, um, that there is a lot of politics that happens um, in appointment of judges. And though, uh, like in general politics, we can see the twists and turns happening, uh, we don't see it. And uh, the last point that he's made is that uh, the judges actually spend half of their time in, uh, in fact, appointment of judges, while the, the main work is delivering justice. Uh, all right, Ananya, thank you so much for those details. For our audiences, we are going to have to move on from the story now to a story that is coming in from Bihar.